Hey, what's up you guys? So, welcome to this video. Um, I was prompted to do this video because I saw the most just... I, I, I'm speechless by this video, okay? So I saw this video on Facebook a couple days ago, <clears throat> sorry, and I'm just like, what is happening right now, okay? Now, as you can see by this, how to make Ina's pork pozole. And I'm like, ooh, I, la I love Ina Garden, okay? She's like so pinky out and just fabulous and she, you know, lives in the Hamptons and everything just matches and fresh flowers, like everything you want to grow up to be, okay? So I'm like, okay, let me check this video out. Let me see how Ina does the pozole, right? <sighs> Hi Hulk, he's flabbergasted too. I also want to apologize in advance for any uh, foul language because this is how upsetting this video is. All right, so let's play. We're gonna walk through it together, guys. Pork for Soli. So what I've done is- All right, so first of all, <laughs> right off the bat, uh, I saw black beans and I saw yellow, it turns out to be yellow bell peppers, right? Already off on a bad start, okay? Also, it looked like cloudy, right? Look at it. See, this, the juice and stuff is all like, you know, it looks like, like a stew or like a chowder or a chili kind of thing, right? Okay, so let's get started. All right, so. Holy. So what I've done is I've got one and a half pounds of boneless pork loin. I cooked it in a little bit of olive oil for five to seven minutes. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil and lots of onions. Okay, so she cooked the pork. That's fine, I do that too. You get out of the pot and now she's, she keeps going. She adds the olive oil. And first of all, olive oil, uh, no. You need some manteca on there, girlfriend, okay? I'm gonna saute those. So onions. five to seven minutes. Okay, okay. I'm two yellow peppers that I've diced. Two, two yellow peppers that she diced. See, this is where it's. How long is this video? It's like a minute something long, and I don't know how many mistakes she's already made. Poblano so peppers, finely diced. Poblano peppers. Okay, the peppers are done now. So I have a tablespoon of minced garlic, garlic, a teaspoon of chili powder, and half a teaspoon of oregano. Give it a big stir. Cook it for one minute only. Now, all right, so I don't know why it is that when um, people make Latin food, Spanish food, Mexican food, whatever, um, they always feel like they need to use like oregano and chili powder and cumin. Oh my, cumin is the worst. I am personally not a fan of cumin. Um, it's just, I don't know, it just reminds me of like that Tex-Mex, just like bad Tex-Mex. You know, like, oh, like from the can, it's goopy. Like, it just, I do not like cumin. I use it. I'm not going to lie. I use it, but I don't, I'm not, I'm going to sprinkle it in. I'm not going to use a whole tablespoon of it or a whole teaspoon. No, thank you. All right. So she's sauteing everything with the spices. And then I think she's, she's about to throw the pork back into it. I'm going to add back the pork that I took out and cooked. Okay. Chicken stock. Chicken that stock. Okay. Pot of soup. And 12 ounces of salsa verde. Yep. All right, 12 ounces of salsa verde. Salsa verde, <laughs> sorry, salsa verde. Okay, o sea, um, now where did this salsa verde come from? Did she buy it? Did she make it? I don't know. Most likely she bought that, okay? And I don't trust it. And uh, uh, for me, this goes for pozole and tamales. Like when you do like a green, when you use green chili, I associate that with like chicken, right? So like green chili, chicken pozole, I've done that before. Or you know, when you make the tamales with, with uh, chili verde, it's either rajas or you make it with chicken, okay? And then when you do red, then you use pork. That's just kind of like, I feel like that's just like the rule of thumb, right? Okay, give that a big stir. Okay. okay next, we're going to add black beans and hominy. Okay, the next ingredient is a little surprising. It's tortilla corn chips. 
Okay, so then she put the hominy in and then the beans. Black beans. Again, this is, I feel like this is like the uh, American Caucasian thing to do to put black beans in everything. And you know, I mean, like black beans are good, it's what's up, but I mean, it doesn't have to go in everything. I don't need it, you know, with my corn salsa and I don't need it like just sprinkled in everything. Black beans are, I feel like beans in general are like a, you know, it's a side. You don't put it in a soup unless you're making like a chili. And I feel like this is what it's turning into is a chili. Like a Southwest chili thing going on with pork, right? And then she had the caucasity, the audacity to put tortilla chips in there. Why? What are these tortilla chips going to do? I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're going to get soggy as fuck and break down and then it's going to that's why the, the the soup looks the way it is. Because oh, them tortillas. Lots of pepper in this. Give this a big stir. And this is just going to simmer away. I don't know if I like the pork with soap. Also, she put the hominy in. And she's going to let it simmer for who knows how long. Depending on what kind of hominy you get. If you, if you get a hominy that's already soft, that's going to be mushy. Mushy, mushy, mushy. Along with the dang on tortilla chips that she put in there and that's why everything's all like murky and gross because the tortilla chips are all up in the soup. Better the toppings. So I'm gonna have a big bowl. Look at this. Look at this. A little grated cheddar on it. Cheddar? Um, I don't know about y'all but I have never in my life put cheese, even any kind of like Mexican cheese on my pozole. That's not like typical pozole toppings, right? So she put the cheese, she put green onion, Sour cream. Some avocado. A sour cream. Again, this has clearly turned into some sort of Southwest chili dish, okay? And some crumbed up corn chips. And a little More of corn chips. To just wake up all the flavors. Oh, let's wake them up because. Be oh, I'm God. very happy. I bet you are. I am appalled. I am highly appalled. I am offended <laughs> on so many levels, guys. All right, so uh, I saw this. I posted on my Facebook, and everyone, you know, people on my my Facebook were like, "What the French toast?" And I was like, "I know, guys. Like, this is ridiculous." So this is what led to this video. All right, guys. And for the most part, I'm pretty sure you guys are tired to see my face, so it's gonna be like a POV moment. Everything, you know, me cooking, everything. So, let's get her done. All right, guys. So, we have here our pork that I cut up, hominy, some chicken bouillon, water, onion. We have some guajillo chili pods. Now, what I'm doing today is actually different from how I usually do it because back home um, I'm able to find like chile de arbol at a store you know and just buy it and call it a day because I don't usually do this step doing making the, the red sauce and putting it in together I just make it have a clear broth and then I we add chili and make it as spicy as we want it okay so this is the only thing that's different from where how I usually do it so in this pot, I got a little bit of a little bit of manteca. Oh Lord! So it's Sunday. Everyone is home, so I try to ignore the yelling. All right. So let me see if I can prop you up. I have to remember, like I have this mic on, so I don't like destroy it again. Oops, sorry. All right. Yeah, I don't feel like being on cam today, guys. I didn't put up any makeup on or anything, so. And it's really simple, okay? Like, this is like the easiest thing ever. And my cousin showed me this recipe. Cause she likes to make it for, you know, typical Christmas or Thanksgiving, whatever. Um, 
And I was like, how do you do it? And she told me, I'm like, seriously, that's it? So what all I'm gonna do is in this pot, I'm letting the manteca melt and I'm gonna put the pork in. Now this step is like, I wanna say is optional because I don't think my cousin does this, but I do, I don't know, I'm just weird. It's the culinary school. But I throw it in there and I'm gonna like try to crisp up the meat a little bit. And then, um, and then I wanna pour some water in and let it come to a boil. Okay, and then when that happens, then I'm going to start on the chili sauce. Now the chili sauce, I honestly don't do a lot. I've actually like only made it like, maybe once, sorry I hiccuped. I don't know why I always do gross stuff once I like start filming, like ew, what is wrong with me? All right, so. Okay, now over here, we're gonna get this going too. So I got the chili pots in there. I'm gonna add some water to it. All right, so you're basically just like cooking it so that, you know, they start, they rehydrate, they get soft so we can put it in a blender, right? And then this half an onion, Actually, I'm gonna just do a quarter onion because it's not that big of a pot that I'm making. It's gonna come over here. All right. And then I was like, okay, well, since I can't buy the chili sauce, the chili de árbol, anywhere, I'll just make it, right? But um, oddly enough, our local supermarket, it's called Harvey's, they have like this one little section worth of Hispanic products, right? And they have the guajillo, but they don't have arbol. And I want to say I've seen arbol at Walmart, but Walmart's like half an hour away. And I was not going to make that trip for one thing. So, yeah. Alright, so it's been cooking for a minute or two. It's browned up a little bit. And now all I'm going to do is add some water to the pot. Okay. Just enough to, you know, get everybody floating, everybody cooking. Now, this next part is kind of important. And I feel like it really helps the flavor of the whole ordeal okay um, I let it come to a boil and it'll boil and as it's boiling it'll start to foam up at the top like a little scum from the meat and you want to get rid of that if you leave it in it just gives it like a I don't know how to explain it but you can tell like when somebody didn't do that part you know so right now it's just the pork I added a little bit of salt to the pork while it's cooking and then the water we're gonna let it boil let it get foamy and gross on top. You're gonna skim that off. And then we'll get to the next part, okay? And over here, these guys are, you know, simmering. They're getting soft. I cut off the little, I made some cracklings off the, the fat cap that was on the pork butt. All right, and now, Again, so this is like my version of it, okay? I'm sure there's like a million gajillion recipes out there with how to make pozole. And I'm sure they're fine. All I'm saying is that I know Garden's recipe was garbage, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And like, I, like I'm just, it's just crazy that Food Network would let her put that up. Like, who does that? Like, girlfriend, leave the pozole for Aaron Sanchez, okay? That's all I'm saying. So, once this guy starts to get all gross and scummy, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. And then the chilies will actually take, not, not take as long to get soft, and then I'll show you how I make, blend that up. Okay, so it's starting to get foamy and nasty. 
So this right here, this is what you're trying to get rid of. Right? Sorry if I'm blocking. I can't tell if I am or not. Cause like if you leave this stuff in, I feel like it turns your your broth like murky. And it gives you like a I don't want to say gamey flavor, cause I don't think that's the right word. But it gives it you know a different taste, and I don't appreciate it. It's also you know this is like all the fat little leftovers from it. Now, pork butt is pretty fatty. It's got a lot of fat running through it. So you kind of just want to skim that off. And then you just let it simmer, simmer, simmer. Uh oh. Fuego. All right. That's good for now. Now these guys over here are just about ready, I believe. Because again, you're just like heating them up to get soft again. And then you just, because you want, and then, um, like I remember watching my grandma used to make, uh, you know, chile colorado. And when she would do this, she would take the, the stem off and then take the seeds out and then put them in the water and all that. But I didn't take the seeds out because I want it to be spicy. Okay. Because I feel like guajillo is already a pretty mild chili to begin with. So I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'm going to leave the seeds in and let it get as spicy or hopefully it gets spicy since, again, we don't have chile de arbol. I mean, I got like, I'm probably gonna have to reuse some like red pepper flakes to put in there to make it spicy. Do I like it? But, um, let's see. Yeah, see, they're pretty soft. And that's all you're doing is just you're getting them softened up. Because now I'm going to put them in a blender. And I'll spare you that audio. We'll blend it up and then I'll show you. All right, Joe. So I got the chilies in here with a blender. In the blender, I blended them up. I put all, all of them in there with all the liquid that was left. Got it all blended up. Okay, and then we're gonna go right here. Let me change my angle. Here we go. And then you want to take this and you want to put it through a strainer because even though you blended it i mean you're not going to get like all like the little skin stuff the seeds and all that you know you don't want all that floating around in your pozole so And again, this is also how you make like the chili if you want to make tamales. This is the same process and then like from here you would add it. I mean, it's almost like the same ingredients minus the hominy. Alright, so see? Alright, so you just want to get all the juices out. And then like you're you're left with like this paste, see, with the seeds and stuff. You don't want that in your soup. But hopefully it's making my sauce as spicy, right? Alright. That's good enough. All right, so I'm gonna dump this. This is my like little trash can. 
We'll put this stuff in here and get this all cleaned up. All right. See? And now you're left with this a nice sauce. And then this we're going to add to our pot, but not yet. All right, so I switched burners because this is my favorite burner. And this one like gets hotter faster. So I'm still, I'm still debating whether I want to keep skimming it or not. Like hurry up and boil, bro. I got stuff to do. Got football to watch. Huh, looks like a face eyes and the mouth. That's fun. Alright. Move this back over here. So a little bit. I mean you're not gonna get it all. Okay, let's be let's be real here. Let's keep it 100 guys. But you want like the really like the especially the very beginning stuff. That's when all the ickiness comes out of it. All right. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just put in my onion. All right. It's gonna give us some flavor, and then we're going to add our chicken bouillon at this point. Because at this point, I'm just gonna let it go. It's gonna simmer so I can let the meat get all nice and flavorful and tender remember you can always add but you can't take away all right especially with salty stuff all right so i'm going to go with that so you can see i'm not measuring anything i'm just kind of like throwing stuff in there but it's still gonna be good guys trust me so i'm gonna start off with that and then later on i'm gonna taste it add some more if i need to i'm gonna put a lid on this go and then get everything cleaned up out of the way and then next we'll add just chili and then at the very end you're gonna put in hominy all right so all right Joe so it's been simmering for a good chunk of time maybe like half an hour 45 minutes okay now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the I don't fall. The chili sauce. Just sitting right here. Now again, normally I would not this would not be a step. Cause I don't usually do this. But I feel like this is a good time to get it in there. Alright. Oh wow. All right, and I'm also going to add the hominy in. I right, don't splash, don't splash. Oh God. All right, so hominy is in. Ooh, that actually looks really good. Hmm, I might have to start doing it this way every time now. Fancy that. And then I'm just gonna taste a little bit. Oh, all right, so it definitely needs more seasoning. Alright, so this is the brand of hominy I got. I like this one because it's harder, it's more firm, so that you're able to like let it keep cooking and it doesn't get mushy. Like when my grandma used to make my noodle, she would get, I think it's Bush. Bush's brand hominy, and that one was really soft. I mean, it's still good, but I just prefer 
a more firm hominy. Let's see. Oh. Teensy bit more. A little bit, got a little bit of a kick, which I'm excited. All right, so I'm just gonna let this simmer for maybe another like 10, 15 minutes. I mean, it's basically done. I just want to let the the chili sauce and the hominy heat up, get all melted together. Then when it's ready, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, everybody, it's ready. Look at that. Mira, wow. Oh, all that steam. So I let it simmer after I added the, the chili sauce and the hominy for like another like 15 20 minutes. Like I said, I mean, it's basically already done, but I just wanted the hominy to heat up and everything to melt together. All right, so this is what we top ours with some straight up cabbage and we also do radishes but again like my funky country store did not have any radishes and i'm like what the french get it together harvey's all right so we're gonna go with just cabbage and a little squeeze of lime to awaken the flavors isn't that what she said oh jesus it went everywhere all right so we're gonna have aj taste test it and then ah! yes okay all right so babe come on oh god it's so hot i'm gonna drop it oh, i wait <laughs> i burned my house oh oh here he is guys here he is None of the hour. Oh, he's all color coordinated. Okay, I see you, boo. I see you. You don't have to get all up in the camera. Yes. Okay, hold on. I already. Hold on. All right, you're taste testing, because this is the first time I've made it this way. Yes. I did. To awaken the flavors, like Ina Garden said. So, do you like it better this way or the way we used to do it before, where we would put the chili in it afterwards? Huh? This way is good. Yeah, but which one do you like better? This is. People, the people want to know. Um, this one lessens the time of fixing it up. So, you know, like right to it, everything you need is there. So. Okay, I mean, yeah, because you're just sitting and eating it. Do you realize I had to, I had to do extra stuff to cook it, to make it? <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay guys, so what he's saying is that he didn't have to put spoonfuls of chili into his own pozole. He could just stuff his face. But you did. So. Who's the right. benefit? The eater or the chef? Say hi, Hulk. Lexi's here for the weekend, well for one night. All right, y'all, that was it. That was this oh Jesus episode. My eyebrows look good. Alright y'all, so that is my pozole video. Ina, garden, you tried it girl, but not in this house. <laughs>